In 1954, at the age of 21, Frank Stronach arrived in Canada with one small suitcase and not much else. Today, he's changed the way cars are made and along the way, reinvented the sport of horse racing. I'm a great believer in luck. The harder I work, the more luck I have. Sure, he had no more than a few hundred dollars in his pocket, but he had skill, savvy, and a vision. In my early years, I had no great philosophies. My only drive was never to be hungry anymore. In 1957, Frank opened his first small factory in Toronto. Times were tough, and he didn't get his first car contract until 1960, an order for 300,000 sun visor brackets. He never looked back. Do I respect him as a businessman? Absolutely. I respect anybody that starts out sleeping on a bench in a garage. This is not an easy business, and to build upon success, this is not something you see every day. He has a good understanding of people and what motivates people. He, you know, says, look, using common sense, what would motivate me? You know the magnet culture, right? Nobody works for me. You people work with me. I'm working for you. The roots of the magna culture began when Frank introduced a profit-sharing plan in his factories. He calls it fair enterprise. Wall Street calls it Frank Stronach's success formula. The history of mankind has always been dominated by the golden rule. Here's the gold makes the rule. But I don't want to be dominated by anyone. If I feel that strong, I should not be able to dominate somebody either. And that's why Frank created a corporate constitution and an employee's charter that are unique in the world of business. In 1960, Frank bought his first horse. And today, he's one of the world's leading thoroughbred owners. Frank. You and Magna have created so many jobs for people around the world and in the process have enriched so very many communities. I'm proud to know you. I'm proud of our friendship. I'm proud of the vision you've displayed throughout your business career. In 1995, Frank was inducted into the Canadian Business Hall of Fame. In 1998, his horse Awesome again won the Super Bowl of horse racing, the Breeders' Cup. In 1999, he was awarded the Order of Canada. In 2004, he donated $8 million to the local hospital for Aurora and Newmarket, Ontario, and once again, won the Breeders' Cup with Ghost Zapper. Ghost Zapper. Today, that young tool and die maker who came to Canada 50 years ago is a respected entrepreneur, a community leader, and the premier player in the sport of kings. And along the way, he's done it all his way. Over half a billion dollars has been raised to help the victims of Hurricane Katrina. Many Canadians have opened up their wallets, including Canadian auto giant mogul Frank Stronach, the founder of Magna. Yesterday, he headed down to Florida to meet with the hundreds of people he's helping by providing them with accommodations at his horse training facility, Palm Meadows. I can't think of a better guy or a bigger mensch than my friend Frank Stronach. Frank, you and Magna have done so much for communities and charities around the world. Congratulations once again. I sometimes say, and you know, I'm not quite sure yet when I grow up what I will do, you know. There's a lot of pride when you, when you start something from scratch, so you, you want to look down the road and say, I, I hope you've put the right foundations in that this company will carry on for the next few hundred years. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce the presenter, Steve Hinder of Magna for Community, and longtime friend of the Stronach family, and the presenting sponsor, John Crowell of Magna International, and I invite both to the podium to assist in the induction. Uh, thank you, Ken, and uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, honored guests and inductees. As a longtime resident of Aurora, as someone who's had the privilege of serving on town council and as the current manager of Magna for Community, 
the organization created by Frank Stronach to help people in our community, I can honestly say that I know a few individuals who've had as much of an impact on our community as Frank Stronach has. When there's been a community need, Frank has always been one of the first to step up to the plate. When the Aurora Family Leisure Complex needed funding back in the 1980s, Frank responded by creating the hoedown. And today, 25 years later, the hoedown is generating over half a million dollars annually for a wide range of community groups, many of them sports organizations and clubs. When the town needed additional soccer fields many years ago, Frank again responded by donating the land in front of the Magna Head office to the Aurora Youth Soccer Club fields that are still being used to this day. I could go on listing the many organizations that were helped by Frank or the recreational facilities that have been built because of him. If you walk through the halls of the Magna Head office, you'll see countless plaques and letters from community groups thanking Frank Stronach and the company he built for the support that they have provided over the years. But I think when you boil it right down, the one thing that stands out above else for me is that Frank Stronach cares deeply about our community. Aurora is where he lives and works. It's where his children and grandchildren live and work, and where many of his employees also live and work. Sometimes when an individual from a community reaches a certain level of national or international renown or fame, we often, need to, we often tend to think, well, maybe they don't care as much of what, what goes on around here anymore. But I can tell you that what goes on here in Aurora matters a great deal to Frank Stronach. I know for a fact that he spent a lot of time this past year working on plans to donate close to 100 acres of his property to the town for the establishment of an eco-park, a park that will be enjoyed by Aurora citizens for generations to come. Frank was recently quoted as saying, I feel blessed that I've been able to give back to the community where my family lives. I think that all of us, if we had that opportunity, would try to make a contribution to build a better community. And knowing Frank as I do, I know that being inducted into the Aurora Sports Hall of Fame means as much or more to him as any national or international recognition that he's received. Unfortunately, Frank's out of the country on business, couldn't be here in person. However, I'm proud to now call upon the individual who's representing the Aurora Sports Hall of Fame inductee Frank Stronach tonight. He's the president of the Stronach's Group Racing Division and the business manager of Adina Springs and the Stronach Stables, Mike Rogers. Uh, I'm honored to be standing here this evening on behalf of Frank Stronach. I've worked for Frank and his family for 16 years now. During that time, I felt privileged and fortunate to work for someone who's not only one of this community's great leaders, but he's also one of the country's greatest entrepreneurs. The last time I had the honor of representing Frank was at, at an important event. I ended up at Windsor Castle discussing thoroughbred horses with Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. I didn't think anything could top that, but tonight, meeting some of the royalty of the Canadian sports world, like Brian Stemmel, Carolyn Burchard, and Jim Elder, has been just as great a thrill. Frank Stronach sends his sincere regrets uh, that he wasn't able to be here tonight. He also sends his best wishes to the fellow inductees and their family and friends. He asked me to send his very best to all of you who are part of this special occasion. I'm proud to be joined here this evening by Mr. Stronach's wife, Elfrida. I know Frank is proud to be honored and inducted into the Hall of Fame in the Builder category. It's a category that truly suits Frank Stronach, because he's a builder at heart. Nothing brings him more satisfaction than helping build an organization or a business from the ground up. Let me share a brief story about another world champion from Aurora. Back in the 1990s, Frank bred and raised a horse in his stable here in Aurora that he named Awesome Again. He named that horse because Magna had just come back from the brink of bankruptcy and was chalking up record sales and profits. As it turned out, Frank Stallion, awesome again, lived up to his name. Not only did he win the Queen's Plate, he went on to win the Breeders' Cup Classic, the Super Bowl of Thoroughbred Racing. At the time, it was the richest race ever run, more than $5 million in winnings on the line. 
Today, that award-winning horse that was born and bred right here in Aurora is building an incredible legacy. He is one of the leading sires in Breeders' Cup history, a champion whose offspring are turning out to be champions as well. I think the story of Awesome Again tells a great deal about Frank's passion for building a foundation for success. He has done it over and over again throughout the years, in business, in healthcare, in education, and sports as well. But more than anything, I think what gives Frank the greatest pleasure is just knowing that over the years, he has helped give many kids here in Aurora a chance to play the sports they love. On behalf of Frank Stronic, I thank you once again and are deeply grateful for this honor. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your inaugural inductee, Frank Stronic.